So you'll see that we're standing in a really unique spot right now. Vera, in the process of evaluating her basement and before deciding to blow it up <laughs> and completely change how she's using the space, she was looking for where she could put anything and everything. And this nook, which has ductwork, which has a support pillar, which has corners, became kind of one of those hidden gems where you thought, hmm, hidden space, what can I do? So tell me about how you started the process for this little nook, which is pretty funky, frankly, <laughs> and where you ended up with, because if I understand you correctly, it's not the same. No, I mean, originally this, when my daughter was younger, was the oversized toy area. So this is where our kitchen was and um, her oversized doll houses. And so this sort of worked because it got all those really big oversized toys out of the way. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we've moved past that stage and she doesn't really play with that stuff anymore. And so um, when we were working with Easy Closets, we thought that we would just create another uh, toy storage area, but once we uh, utilized all the space along the, the long the wall, wall yep. we realized that we didn't need another space for toys because that took care of all our needs. It was so, um, it was just, it just took care of any, everything that we had. There was no, we didn't need any extra storage. Mm -hmm. So we looked at the snug and we kept saying, what is it that we need? What what do we need in our life that is, that is still unorganized beyond the children. Let's look at ourselves personally. And so we, we just said the office because uh, as bloggers and as um, you know online, we own several websites, uh, we work everywhere around the house. I was on bed rest for several months, for five months, and so we got off of our desktop computers and we got onto our laptops and we sort of stuck in that, uh, you know, on our laps, wherever we are, the kitchen table, the living room, and so our office is sort of was sort of spread out throughout the house mm -hmm. so we would have to go to the living room for the paper the dining room for the tape the kitchen for the paper clips I mean we everywhere. had things <laughs> everywhere right so then we just said well instead of using this as an extra toy area which didn't make sense anymore why don't we use this for our business and make this our office headquarters so to speak so we took everything that we had around the house it was like an egg hunt for paper clips and you know whatever else you need to run a business and we just put everything here so now there is a one one stop shopping here whenever one of us needs something envelopes labels printing paper even for the children it is all now stationed in this one little note that we i bet we know originally just was we didn't really have any use for sure and i think everybody can identify with you have a funky space you just kind of set stuff in there don't really use it to its greatest advantage and i think what i love about this evolution for you is it gives you Operation Central, and for so many couples, either one or both parents are working from home, part-time, full-time, yes. and that issue of mobility, you do want to be able to work nearby your kids, and we're all guilty of sneaking it in, yes. right? And that's, you know, you think that if you tie yourself to a desk, you won't do that, but the fact of the matter is, you're going to work wherever you can be, and then you need all those desk supplies, those office management supplies to be central for you so you can be more efficient. And, you know, in the day and age of, uh, you know, the Costco and the BJ's and these sort of things, when you know, we're not just buying one tape, we're buying right. ten. And so the problem becomes, where do I put all of this? Where do you put all this stuff that you're bringing into the house that you need? Right. You, you know, and it's more economical for me to buy 500 paper clips than it is for me to buy ten. <laughs> so I'm going for the 500, and now I have bins and baskets and drawers and everything that I need. Just put it where it needs to be. And again, it's just something that I know is actually going to better my business because I will spend less time fussing and running around and where is this and honey, we need to run out and buy this. And just, I just come here, I get what I need and I go. And I think that we're, we're just going to appreciate that for the, in, in the long haul. Something too that we touched on in this process, uh, Vera's used a lot of just baskets and products that you had to corral things in open space. And then yes. certain really important things like extra media equipment, laptops, cameras, chargers, printer cartridges, those are in drawers. But something that I picked up on in terms of your organization style, and I think a lot of people can relate to this, is you need certain things out in the open. 
so that you can see that. And so this mix of drawers, baskets, and shelves really gives you that option, doesn't it? It does. And you know, again, yes. just tying into my children, even though this is an office space, I'm just going to talk about the paper. Right. My children really like to print a lot of things. A big, you know, they want to print a coloring paper. You know, mm -hmm. they're, they're just drawings and whatever. They they create stuff and they print it. But then they also use this for schoolwork and they want to do Christmas cards and birthday cards. They're always looking for the paper. So we want to make sure that we put that out and not hidden because they can just come and take what they need and go up. That was yes. very important for us to have that sort of out in the open. Uh, you know, scissors, paper clips, um, you know, staplers, anything. right, anything of that sort that is, a, that is a quick, I need to do this very quickly. We kept this on top because I don't want to spend the time looking through, right. messing through, searching. I wanted it easy and accessible. And so we kept the most important things, our everyday usage, up and out front. And then the toner cartridge that I change, mm -hmm. you know, twice a year. Ever. <laughs> right. That we keep in a drawer because that's not something that I necessarily need to see. Mm -hmm. But it still needs to be within this realm because it belongs here.